So this is the spot in the old store that they had the um, the fresh meats. This is all fresh uh, fish and clams and stuff. Um, I know a lot of the people in the community, we were waiting for this place to open. They thought there was going to be a lot of meats like before. Um, and everybody was really hoping for a deli. But I don't think this is quite what the people hoped for. They do have a uh, pretty good selection of veggies or some potatoes, some fruit and everything. Uh, that's not too bad. Here's some more of the uh, fresh stuff they have. Also along the walls I should have shown you. There's a bunch of ramens and assorted uh, quick foods to make. Well, all right, folk. Um, bit of a review, review. We got the new place in. Um, as I showed you, the uh, it's called Middletown Public Market. It used to be called Public Market. Um, unfortunately, they closed down. That place was awesome. It had um, a deli in it. Uh, they made uh, all sorts of. Uh, it was it was uh, lean more towards Italian. Um, you could get ribs and all sorts of stuff there. Uh, nice meats. Um, however, they closed. Um, and then this one is more of an Asian flavor to it, if you will. Um, a lot of different types of like fish, like the whole fish on ice. You know, um, a lot more Asian feel to it. Um, so I, we got some of the stuff and gonna try it and see how it is. The first thing I got here is I've never tried this before, so we are gonna check it out. It's pork chopal. Uh, so we are gonna check this out, see how this is, and I'll be right back with you, folk. Well, all right, folk. Um, tried the show chopal. I believe I'm saying that right, chopal. I had to go on Google. To learn how to say it properly, I believe I'm doing it, saying it properly, Chopal. And um, it's actually good. If there's pork in there, and it's kind of like a, it's like bread or whatever, like kind of like it's a pulled pork and everything stuffed inside this really cool uh, bun, which is like bread, whatever. Um, it's really good. It's actually pretty cool. So uh, I am going to finish this up, and then I'll get back to you, and I'll check out the uh, combo dinner with you. One more quick thing I wanted to share with you when it comes to the show pal. You're going to want to remember to take off the paper on the bottom before you take a bite. Yep, I ate some of the paper. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, all right, folk. Um, I don't know if you can see very good at all here, but anyways... This is a $10.99 meal. You get this uh, fried rice, chicken teriyaki, and sweet and sour meatballs. Um, I, I've got to be completely honest with you. They're not going to get a very good review from me today. Um, the 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 show pal, I got pork show pal. You could get pork or chicken there. I got the uh, pork show pal. That was good. That was really freaking good. I enjoyed that. That's the first time I've ever had something like that, and it was really good. I enjoyed that. Um, unfortunately, their fried rice is just sticky, gloppy. Um, it, it, you know, it, it's not good at all. There's no flavor whatsoever. I, I really, really don't like it. Um, the, I tried the, uh, the teriyaki chicken. Um, the teriyaki chicken here. Um, I gave it a shot. I think they should call, call it soy chicken. All I taste is soy sauce. Um, it doesn't taste like any teriyaki to me whatsoever. I really hope the sun isn't bothering you guys up in the, the top windows there. Um, I'm not big on the teriyaki at all. And then you got the sweet and sour meatballs. I know you guys won't really be able to see in there very good, but these meatballs are like uh, pure breadcrumbs, man. It's like there's hardly meat. It's pure breadcrumb. It's like I'm eating the fried breadcrumb ball. Um, however, the sweet and sour on the meatballs is banging. It's very good. Um, I'll be honest with you. I think I'm going to scrape off some of the sweet and sour, put it in the rice, put some of the chicken rice in the rice, stir it together, and try and get something out of it. Um, you also get a free soda with the meal. I took a can of the dry. Um, $10.99. In my humble opinion, uh, basically 11 bucks, um, not worth it, not worth it at all. Um, really disappointed in the rice, really disappointed. Uh, 
disappointed in the um, the uh, uh, teriyaki chicken. Uh, disappointed in the sweet and sour meatballs, though I like the sweet and sour sauce. And uh, they have the vegetables in there and everything, and, and they're really good. But um, the meatballs are just like pure breadcrumb. Uh, I, I got to give it a definite <laughs> thumbs down. Um, at the new um, Middletown Market that just opened up where Public Market used to be, thumbs down. Not good. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll check you guys back later. And uh, over here on the bed, I had three mattresses. So, um, that wasn't quite working at night, though it was comfortable. Um, I like to sleep on my side, and when you do, the other side really flops up, and it's hard. to. It just... So one one of them uh, one of the mattresses has had to go, and I got it stored up front, rolled it up real good, and uh, stashed it in a big uh, plastic bag. And I'll show you some stuff in the back here. And all right, so here's the bed on this side, and the amount of room that I have extra compared to before. I got some clothes that need to go to laundry, and some that need to go to storage. I'm not going to be using. Big old thing of plastic, uh, basically a bunch of stuff, tools, everything that needs to find their homes and storage, and, and uh, some of it is staying. But this is going to be the extra area, and what I'm planning now is on this side, I'm going to build something, you know, that goes all the way up here. I'm going to have something that goes all the way up here uh, for storage and everything, and I'm going to build me a little system down here um, I haven't figured that part out yet but I am gonna think about it and see what uh see what it is I want to do but this is all gonna be storage area once it's uh, all organized and everything all right folks Ribs and steaks, those are her favorites. But she has no problem grabbing the turkey legs I throw out either. So anyways, I'm gonna back off and let her do her thing. Well, all right, folks, I don't know how close I'll be able to get this time. I don't know how trusting the mail is. Right here, there's the mail. Here. If I can get my finger to come around. Right here is the female. So I don't know how close I can get with him here. So. just moved so he, he he moved a little further from me I don't know if he trusts me as much as she does and she's just chowing her turkey right in front of him like yeah I don't know what to tell you dude now see if he's actually got the guts to go down and get it like she does I don't think he'll do it but that's the thing, as you can see, the males are smaller than the females. <clears throat> it's pretty cool to see him hanging around. He hasn't been around for a bit, it's always been her. Now he's coming around, which is pretty cool. And uh, the kids were around too for a bit. So, all right, folks, well, that's going to just about do it. A whole bunch more uh, stuff getting ready to be done with her. Everything's starting to look good. Um, getting her together. She's going into the shop in a couple days here. So, hopefully, everything's going to start going well. Get her done. Um, some of the other stuff I got to fix up and everything. And we're going to be able to rock and roll. And uh, um, that's going to be about it for today. So, don't forget, always forward to the next adventure. The vlog is down.